Hi everyone, today we're going to be going over how to determine the midpoint of a line segment. In order to do so, we're going to be using what is known as the midpoint formula. The formula is as follows on the screen. It is x2 plus, um, sorry, x1 plus x2 over 2, and that'll give you the x coordinate of your midpoint. And then we have y1 plus y2, and that's going to give you your y coordinate. Okay, so now let's go through some examples to see how this actually works. Okay, example one. All right, so in example one, we're gonna have a line segment here, with two points on either end. Our first point is going to be one, two. Second point is going to be seven, 10. And our job is to find out what this point is, our midpoint. That'll divide this evenly in half. Okay, so we're going to say one plus seven over two for our x coordinate, and then we're going to say 2 plus 10 over 2 for our y coordinate. 1 plus 7 is 8, so we have 8 over 2. And then 2 plus 10 is 12, so we have 12 over 2. 8 over 2 is 4, so we have 4 for our x coordinate. And then 12 over 2 is 6, we have 6 for our y coordinate. So the coordinates of our midpoint are 4, 6. Okay, so let's go through another example now. Say we have a line, again, another line segment one end oops example two don't know what happened there sorry one end of our line segment we have coordinates four five the other end of our line segment we have coordinates negative two one and we want to find out again what the midpoint of this line is okay so we're going to say negative two plus one over two and then we are going to say Sorry, not negative 2 plus 1, negative 2 plus 4 over 2. And then we're going to say 5 plus 1 over 2. Negative 2 plus 4 is going to be 2 over 2. And then 5 plus 1 over, um, over 2 is 6 over 2. 2 over 2 is just 1, so our x coordinate is 1. 6 over 2 is 3, so our y coordinate is 3. So our midpoint has coordinates 1, 3. Okay, let's go through another example. All right, so again, we have our line segment. We're gonna have coordinates six, nine over here, and then on this end, we're gonna have two, five. Again, we're finding our midpoint. So we're gonna add two and six divided by two for our x coordinate. And nine plus five over two for our y coordinate. 2 plus 6 is 8, so 8 over 2. 9 plus 5 is 14, 14 over 2. 8 over 2 is 4. 14 over 2 is 7. So coordinates of our midpoint are 4, 7. Okay, so for our next example, say we're given a line with the points negative 7, um, negative 4, and then on the other end we have negative 1, 10. Okay, what we do here? Well, for our x coordinate, we would have negative 7 plus negative 1 over 2. And then for our y coordinate, negative 4 plus 10 over 2. This would give us um, negative 8 over 2. And then we would get 6 over 2. All right, so. We proceed, then we get 4, negative 4, sorry, 3, and that would be our midpoint. Okay, so for our last example, we're going to do something where we end up with a fraction. Okay, so this is example 5, and we want to find the midpoint between points 4, 6, and 5, negative 3. Okay, so what we're going to do to find our x-coordinate, we're going to say... 4 plus 5 over 2 and 6 plus negative 3 over 2. If we evaluate these, 4 plus 5 is 9, so we get 9 over 2. And then 6 plus negative 3 is 3, so we get negative 3 over 2. So our midpoint for um, between 4, 6 and 5, negative 3 is going to be 9 over 2 and 3 over 2. That would be our midpoint. Okay, so that concludes this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. 
and thanks so much for watching. Bye.